Hi everybody and welcome to day 57 of index card a day. We are so close, so close to being done and that makes me so happy. <laughs> I can't wait to do other things. I don't know what exactly, just other things. This is all I've been doing. This is it. I haven't had time for anything else. Well, except for my gel press video, but even that was iCAD related. <laughs> so for this background, I am taking some of the Dilutions cocktail paints in strawberry, daiquiri, and mango punch. And I find these really hard to get coverage. Really, really hard. But I also forgot to shake them. I didn't realize until I went to use them again today and for some reason I shook it. I think I, was, I shook it because I was thinking, well, these are so runny. Maybe they need a good shake. And then I heard the ball and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to shake these. I forgot. <laughs> but I gave them a really good shake and I still had the same problem. So, but I love the colors. Like the colors are absolutely beautiful. They're just a bit of a pain to work with, but they are so beautiful. So this stencil is Dilutions as well, and it is Angles. And you know, you can get her stencils in large and small, and this is the large one. So as I'm editing this video, um, okay. Yeah, you see some of my paper tore off when I removed the stencil. I didn't bother. I just left it alone. I could have went over it with more paint, but I didn't let it bug me. I just kept going. Um, as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm actually done on my iCADs. It is the 30th of July, and I finished all my iCADs yesterday. I'm so happy, <laughs> so excited, and a part of me just feels so much more relaxed now. <laughs> I do have a couple things that I really have to do this weekend because I've either been forgetting about them or just putting it off because I wanted to get iCAD done and I just didn't have time to do other things. So there's two or three things that I will be working on this weekend. Um, one is just something for somebody else and another one I will be sharing with you hopefully this weekend when I do it and then the other thing I'm just I have an idea for my next gel press tutorial so yeah that is what my plans are for the near future so for this iCAD getting back to that um, I'm just taking a whole bunch of images. It's all Dilutions collage sheets. I am not using any Mischief Circus. This is all Diane Reevely's Dilutions line. And even the washi tape that I'm using, that is also hers. So I'm just playing with the pieces, getting them to fit making a border with some of the strips and blocks that she has and where there was empty spots that's where I used the washi tape or if um, it wasn't as wide as I wanted it to be something like that or I couldn't find the color I wanted that's when I substitute the washi tape I really like the idea of um, I don't know what made me think of it, but using that hand as the body of a bird. I have no idea where it came from, but <laughs> I like it. I saw the bird head and I wanted to use it, and then I thought the hope thing just went nice with the background, but I don't know. Somehow a bird formed in my head.
So I finally got a package today. <laughs> I was actually filming a flip through of all my iCads to put on the end of my day 61 video. And as I'm going through the cards, I see the Canada Post lady walk up to my house and she had a big brown envelope and I'm like, yes, <laughs> that better be for me. And it was. And it smelled like it. I thought for sure something had broken inside the package because it smells so strong like chemicals. And uh, it nothing was damaged inside. I think customs opened it and resealed it. So I don't know if they use something for testing. I have no idea, but it smelled really, really strong. Which reminds me, I didn't wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry for that, but you know, with everything that's going on and receiving a package where you don't know whose hands it's been in and where those hands have been and what they've been in contact with, just I'd rather be safe than sorry. So anyway, <laughs> enough of COVID talk. <laughs> that's how much time I'm giving it. So like I said, I know this is day 57 that I am showing you, but in reality of me doing the voiceover, it is actually the 30th and that's our year in at the store. So I had to go in last night after closing and do the stuff that I would normally do today, like during the day. So because I went in last night to get that done, I don't have to work today. Yay. <laughs> so I have all day to do whatever I want. So I am getting these iCADs done. Well, they're already made, but I'm getting hopefully all the editing done and all the voiceovers done and getting them uploaded to YouTube and making the thumbnails and doing all the descriptions, all the work that goes into posting a YouTube video. Um, hopefully I will get that all done today. I have this one and one, two, four more to do. So hopefully I get them done or at least three of them my plan is to do them all so I am officially done <laughs> with iCAD except for sharing them on social media so I can play and do whatever I want. And I think that will involve, I haven't had the chance to play with that die that I got from Amp. Aunt Marley. <laughs> no, she's not my aunt. <laughs> oh, goodness. Maybe I should have another coffee. <laughs> Art by Marlene. <laughs> um, the journal making die. Yeah, I want to make one of those. I have I haven't touched it since I received it because I've been too busy. So I want to make something with that one. Um, I was going to say something else and I can't remember. Yeah, I was going to start playing with it last night and I couldn't find it. I looked in all the places that I knew it had been at some point and they weren't there. And then I texted a friend whining that I couldn't find it and I swear I hit send and I don't even know if it was a minute later. I turned my head a certain way and I'm like, there it is. <laughs> Cause I knew what it was in. And then I saw that at the bot on the bottom of a pile on my island and it was right there. See, sometimes whining does help. Tell my husband that. 
he is not a whiner. Not at all. Like, complete opposite. I'm the whiner. <laughs> He's the one that, goodness, he could be in pain and not say a word. And he doesn't accept help very well. And, you know, one of those that you want to smack because <laughs> they won't let you help. He drives me crazy. But I know it's good qualities that he has, but, you know, accept help. Especially, like, he is so, and <laughs> a lot of it is stubbornness. Yes, he's a good man, but a lot of it is stubbornness, too, because he can, <laughs> he can have his arm so full of stuff. And do you think, and I could be standing right there. And do you think he'll let me open the door? No. He'll shift everything. He'll do, he'll put something down and open the door. And I'm standing right there. I'm like, I can do that. I can open the door for you. He's like, I can open it too. <laughs> that man. I love him. But he's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> Hey, I babbled enough to be over. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching and thank you for listening to this crazy lady. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.